So, toys again in the house because I've just been playing catch up on my Soey Soey Toys figure collecting. So here we have Hero Lawyer 2.0. Not as good as the name Mr. Matt, but it's you know it's all right. It'll live up. It'll it'll the hype is there. You know. So here we have Matt Murdock from the Daredevil or Spider Man No Way Home or she hulk series since he wears a suit and he's matt murdoch in all of them and here's the box i do like this box art i think so so toys did a very good job with this box art overall compared to some of their other ones before we look at the box i'm just going to reiterate please subscribe if you haven't already because if i say it at the beginning of the video then you have no choice but to subscribe because i told you and if you don't then uh then the FBI shows up at your house, and those are the rules. You don't want the FBI at your house, do you? I know you're hiding things, and they know you're hiding things, so if they have a reason to get into your house, then things won't look that great now, will they? But anyway, here's the box. Here's the box art. At the bottom, we've got his long legs. On the side, we have trees. On the other side, we have more trees. And on the back, we have that, you know, that horrible so-so toys quality control where they just keep putting the back of the box upside down. It's not me. It's them. I know it's them. They need to stop this because I would never put the back of the box upside down. That would be embarrassing and stupid. And, and that would only, that would be a dumb person. A dumb person would do that. I'm not a dumb person. So I couldn't be doing this. And on the top of the box, some city skyline and not the video game or the sequel. So yes, here he is. Or at least here's the box. Now let's get him out of the box and onto the spinning doodad of destruction. Moving on. So here we have Mr. Hero Lawyer himself, uh, 2.0, Matt Murdock. And what I can say initially is the suit is fantastic. The fly, the fruit fly that is in my room flying around, not so much. Uh, the accessories on this guy are really cool. The, um, the stick is really cool, and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to it. My one concern is... I'm not fully feeling the head sculpt from the front. There's something about it. I'm just not sure what. I'm hoping that the, um, uh, no offense to you, So So Toys, but I'm hoping the Hot Toys one, when the yellow and red Daredevil comes out, will be able to just pop right on because it's still got the glasses and everything. So I'm hoping I'll be able to just pop that on and really just bring this all together. But for now, I'm happy with what I have here. I think he looks great. I... Now again, the face is really the only issue, and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get a closer look, which we can do right now. So before we go too much into the figure, uh, let's go over the accessories he has. He's got his normal array of hands. Now, if you really, really desperately want me to show the hands, please let me know in the comments, and I'll start showing the hands. I just think it's boring, because we all know what kind of hands. Fists, holding hands, closed hands, open hands, you know, boring stuff. But, so he's got his pair of glasses, but he also comes with the regular black glasses. I prefer the red ones, but you can kind of see what those would look like if they were on him, like that. Which is okay. He comes with a daredevil mask, just a nice little plastic daredevil mask. He can't put it on his head. Well, I mean, he can put it on his head, but um, it's not going to work all that well. He, oh, oh, I'm dropping things. Apologies. And then he comes with his walking stick. Which does neatly come apart and fold up. It's probably the most fun thing to play with ever. Because then you just unfold it and it all goes back together. It's very nice. It's a very nice piece. So, so twice, he did a great job with this part. So let's get a close look at that head shall we i will take the glasses off in a second so here he is mr matt himself looking quite splendid and from the side i love the face i think it's just from the front i don't like it here let me take the glasses off here if i can get them off they're kind of hard to get off once they're on by the way 
All right, there we go. And obviously his eyes are able to look just out forward because he's blind, so that makes sense. So it may look weird, but it looks weird normally. I don't know, there's just something about from the front that looks a little off. Again, the side profile, I see it. I definitely see it, but from the front, I just, I don't. But with today marks, uh, marks a very important day. I'm going to be instituting a new uh, six scale figure test to make sure that they all are up to pass. So today we are going to be instituting the hat test. So I've got this, I've got this red cowboy hat here. So from now on, if I remember, because I've been forgetting to do this probably like the last eight reviews, we're going to be seeing if the hat works. So we're going to start with Mr. Matt here, or should I say Hero Lawyer. I want you to put in the comments whether you think Matt passed the hat test. If you think Matt, pat that, Matt, Matt passed the hat test, say hat test champ in the comments. But if you think he didn't, say failed at the hat test. And that's what we'll do from now on. Whenever we get to the hat test, you let me know exactly what you think about the hat test. Thank you. Moving on. So we got the suit, the beautifully tailored suit with my biggest gripe, the ties. Like always, ties on six scale figures suck. And the suit is kind of off to the side. I'm not sure what started that. But ties always want to stick forward. Where's the tie? Is the, oh, that's the tie. That, that looks like a shadow. Tuck that away. You can't. You can't. It just stays in one place. But the suit looks great. That pocket's fake. But the two here are also fake. I thought those were real. The pockets at his pants here are real, though. You could put his hands in there. Uh, it's a nice belt. It's a very nice button-up shirt, by the way. All right, I fixed the tie. All the way down, the pants look great. He's got nice dress shoes. He is wearing uh, socks that don't go down all the way. They kind of do, but they kind of end at the peg. At least it doesn't look like the Toys Battalion uh, Sorceress Supreme. We will bring it back up here so you can see the back of the suit, which is all gray. There is nothing special going on back here. So that is it. Unless you wanted to see one more time. That beautiful head skull. Be careful, the uh, ankle joints are kind of loose. So yes, there is that beautiful head sculpt. So now let's give him his glasses back so he can't see and bring out a couple people to compare him to. Moving on now. So for starters, we're gonna bring out the uh, first ever Marvel Soso toys figure I have. And hopefully not the last because it's not, because I have this uh, mat here. We have the Kingpin. <laughs> He's going down. I saved him, though. Kingpin uh, 2.0. So these guys next to each other. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. One is considerably bigger than the other. But that's normal. Kingpin is rather large. I love this silly Hawkeye version. He is um, the king of drip. He is the fanciest man on the block. He just looks. He oozes style. He's got that charisma. He's Puff Daddy, Big Pimpin. Looks great. And these two look good together. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I had a Daredevil. I wish I had a Hawkeye to go with this guy as well. A Daredevil and a Hawkeye would look great, but they didn't give us the Hawkeye. But yes, here he is with the Kingpin. Uh, I hope one day we get a black suit Kingpin. That would be great. Moving on from Kingpin, because he is large and in charge. The only other figure I could think of would be, I just picked this one out of the hat, the integrated suit Spider-Man. I was going to go with the black and uh, just the regular upgraded. But he didn't have the head, so I thought it would make more sense if he had the head. So there's those two next to each other. 
so you can see what Matt would look like if he was helping your six-scale Spider-Man with his legal troubles. Thwip out of there, Spider-Man. We've got stuff to pose and figures to bend. Thwip! Moving on, let's see how much uh, wiggle room Matt has in that suit. I'm going to go out on a limb and bet everything that this guy is not going to be moving too much with this suit on. So, getting him off of the stand, we've got our normal life ending 360. Because it's all one piece, you get a little bit of up and a little bit of down, but not too much. His arm goes up that far. Oh my god, dude, I'm going to be able to lose everything. That's why I don't gamble. He goes back that far. The suit does move a lot. <laughs> His leg goes up that far, and it goes back none. But he can get a good, like, Mr. Bean bend. Kind of got a Mr. Bean look to him. So... Matt, Matt poses way better than I thought he would. Look at that. He looks, he's got some karate going on. So let's... <clears throat> oh, before I forget, the ankles do go every which way but loose. Now with that out of the way, let's super jump to the end of the video where I lose all of my life savings because I just gambled that this figure wouldn't pose. See you there in one second after the uh, IRS comes a knocking. You can see my posing skills have gone very good. Obviously, the back of that coat is designed to be like that. Uh, it took me forever to get that tie down. But yes, all in all, uh, another nice figure from SoSo -So Toys. I'm very excited to see what they do with their uh, upcoming X-Men line that they've been teasing. Especially since Present Toys just put out their Magneto and they just tease that they'll be doing a Magneto at the end of this month if this video comes out in November, which I don't think it will. So beginning, end of November. So, so, so Toys, keep doing what you're doing. Small improvements. Stop putting out so many figures and focus on the ones that you have. Please, for the love of God. Because you're putting out too much and you're not doing enough. And that's what everyone says and you should start listening to them because it's, I mean... Those are your fans. Because I love your work. I just need you to, you just need to have more focus. Please and thank you. But all in all, not a bad figure. I'm very happy with it. It's definitely, it's definitely one of the ones where I was just, it's an impulse buy. I wish I had the um, blind vigilante to go with this and the daredevil and a daredevil. I wish I had a red daredevil one day. I got the red and yellow one for now. So we'll make do with what we have. Because we always do. We always make do with what we can do. Uh, BB-90, am I forgetting anything? Ignore all the falling noises. Nothing just happened. BB-90 is going to go take a nap in the corner. Off screen. Because uh, they're also tired. I could tell. They're, they're telepathically talking to me. So with all out of the way, like I said at the beginning of the video... Please subscribe if you love these videos because I love the community that we've been building. I've got some things in the works so we can communicate a bit more and we can we can make this work. We're going to be one big happy family. It's going to be great. So subscribe. Please, please, please like the video as well because that helps the Magic Dad Daddy YouTube uh, likes when you like the video and he shows more people. So we could build a larger army and, and we could take over take over the, the, the world in theory. Or at least influence the six scale market like Dream influences the Minecraft mob vote. So I will see you next time after I do my actual ending of the video properly. So I've been me and you've been you. BB90, maybe sleepy, but he's always here too. I will see see you again i keep saying it not gonna see you we don't see each other unless you're in my room right now which would be weird i will you will hear me in the next video when i talk to you about a six scale figure that is most likely not going to be so so toys this time because i think i've gotten enough so so toys for the rest of the year hopefully hot toys start sending me the things that i have paid off i would love to review a couple of those i will see you next time i do a figure review Thank you.